Hi, I'm Brooke Dibley from Simply Speaking SLT. In this video, I'm going to cover the basics of using a PowerPoint game, specifically my PowerPoint games, but it may apply to others, on a computer. Now, if you're an iPad user, please go and find the iPad version of this video. It'll be linked somewhere nearby. Please note that even though in this tutorial I will be showing you my free S sound spinners, that this tutorial applies to all of the PowerPoint games that can be found in my store on Teachers Pay Teachers or downloaded from my website. The first thing I want to show you is how to open a zipped folder. Many of my PowerPoint games will be downloaded as zipped folders and so they'll look like this in your download section and you need to click them and then the extract option will come up like here. Now, if you're on a Mac, please Google how to unzip a zipped folder on a Mac. I'm sorry, I'm using a Windows computer. So I'm going to hit extract all, and then I'm going to go browse. I'm going to browse on my computer to find where I want to save these files and hit, um, and then hit select folder. So I'll go find it and then hit select folder, and then all the files will be saved in that location and that's how you unzip the folder then you can go find the files in that location and open them up in powerpoint as you can see i've chosen to extract all the files into my downloads folder just for the sake of this tutorial now i'm going to find the spinner file which is the powerpoint game and open it in powerpoint by double clicking on it now, as you can see here, it's open in protected view. You can choose to leave it in protected view. All of my games will work fine in protected view. However, hitting enable editing won't change anything because I have um, flattened all of these activities here to be unable to be lifted up and moved. And so I've done that so that you can't mess up all the different settings that I have worked out within my PowerPoint games so that they work the way that they need to work. And also to respect the rights of the clip artist who created this clip art and um, I paid to use and therefore can't give away for free to those of you who buy my products and then can copy paste them. Another thing I want to point out is you may actually have this error message come up when you open up a file. That's nothing to worry about. Just go ahead and hit read only. It's essentially exactly the same thing that we were just shown before, just a different format. And it may depend on the, the type of uh, PowerPoint you have. So just go ahead and hit read only and the activity will work just the same. Also, it's important to realize that in this mode here where you're seeing all the slides, it's not in play mode yet. We're going to get to how to go to play mode in just a moment and it's under that slideshow tab. But I just want to point out in this mode, it's just where you can change the settings as we're going to talk about soon, but it is not in play mode. You'll enter play mode on the slideshow tab up the top and I'm going to show you how to do that very soon. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is I want this to open for you in its own window when you go into show mode to play the game. And that means you'll be able to split screen. So what you need to do is go to slideshow. And then if you go here to set, set up slideshow, you can click here that says browse and by an individual window. Now I'm not going to do that for now so I can show you the alternative. To play the game, we need to go to slideshow and from beginning, okay? And now we're using this activity as intended but it's full screen and we can't split screen. So I can't move this over to the left or right of my screen and show anything else. I can use the activity as it's intended and I can navigate through using my arrow keys, but I can't uh, split screen. So I'm gonna right click and hit end show. That's how you end a show um, and get back to this area within PowerPoint. And I'm going to go to this area, like I said, set up slideshow browse an individual window and hit OK. And now let's have a look what happens. I'll go from the beginning and now it's in its own window and I can move it around. So if I just move this over here, I could split screen it and bring up something else here. This is just my files area, but you could have a PDF or anything. And um, so it just means that it's more user friendly for you, especially those of you using teletherapy and then you can right click and hit end show and it will bring you back to this area now one thing i want to point out is navigating through so most of my games will have navigation buttons that look like this and you use those to move through the presentation or back to the home page and you'll be used to those kind of buttons from apps and other programs but some may just look like this and not have navigation buttons and in this case you will use your arrow keys on your keyboard so if I hit my right arrow key 
it will move through to the initial S spinner. And then if I hit it again, it'll go to medial. And I hit it again, it'll go to final. And uh, that is so that I've done that intentionally so that you as the uh, teletherapist or the therapist who has the computer in an in-person session controls when you move through so that the kids are not tempted to push all the buttons. However, on some of my games, it makes sense for us to have those navigation buttons. And so they'll be there as well. So either way, that's how you move through. A few things I want to point out is that if you've downloaded a, a product file of mine and it's not a zipped folder, then it will be in your downloads folder and you'd still save it the same way. You would just copy and paste it into the folder that you want to use it from, or you might go uh, file, save as, and save it somewhere. Uh, but essentially your browser, when you downloaded it from TPT, will have probably saved it in your downloads folder or wherever it is that your browser is set to send your downloads to. And also you don't have to change these slideshow settings if you don't want to, to be, uh, happen in the individual window, but it does make it helpful. And once you've done it once, it'll be saved. And uh, when you save the file, so if you go file, save, then the file will be updated and every time you want to use it in show mode it will be in its own window you will not have to do that again i hope you found that helpful do reach out to me if you have any questions all my contact information is in every single product listing on teachers pay teachers that's in my store so just scroll to the bottom and you'll find my email and you can be in touch or just private message me on facebook at simply speaking slt i've linked to that in the product descriptions as well bye